Today I got some brand new sauce I have to put you guys on. My boy Brian just dropped his first extension ever called Shake Sauce. Once we hop into this and you guys see how this works, you guys are gonna wanna get it for yourselves. First things first, once you guys install it, we're gonna go over to Window, Extensions, and then hit Shake Sauce. Once you guys do that, it'll pop up right here, and then you have this beautiful layout, guys. You guys are gonna be brought to five different sections. I like to go to All and kinda just play around with here. So X, if you guys don't know, is left to right, Y is up and down, and then X and Y is obviously both. And then you have a light section for that, a medium section for that, and then these nice keyframe sections, which are actually my favorite. Horizontal Mega Flash, Hard Hit with Flash. We're gonna be applying these shakes to this brand new Sofago music video, and this is pretty much gonna prove why you guys need to grab this extension. All right, so we're gonna start off by right-clicking, going to New, and creating an adjustment layer. You guys can do all of this on adjustment layers. So we're gonna go in between these two clips here. We're gonna go right on the middle, and then we're gonna go to Hard Hit with Flash, and all you guys have to do is double click it. And boom, once you guys double click it, it will literally be there. So we're gonna play that through now. So sick. If you guys hit U on your keyboard, you can then go around and play with the transitions to get a nicer look if you want. You can move all this stuff around. And then up here, you have the amplitude, the rotate, the scale, the slider. And that's pretty much the stuff here. So it starts at zero. And then as you guys can see, the amplitude jumps to 190, rotate jumps to minus three and all that stuff. And as it goes on, it goes back to zero, but you guys can extend that and make it longer. So the amplitude lasts longer. Totally up to you guys. All right, now for this next one, we're gonna right click, create a new adjustment layer again. And we're gonna apply it to this area right here. So let's crop that and then control shift D to crop on After Effects, delete that area. Let's do a quick hit with flash for this one. We don't want it to be too crazy, but we'll apply that there and we'll see how that looks. That looks nuts, guys. I'm telling you guys, this is so simple to use. If you compare it to something like Sapphire Shake or any of the other ones, you have so many different options that are so confusing. This is so straightforward and to the point, and it makes editing so much faster. If you guys ever want to go back and delete a certain shake, make sure you guys go to this ghost layer right here and click on it. So let's say I want to delete this one, for example. You're also going to have to go and delete the ghost layer right here for it to be completely gone. Because if you don't do that, as you guys can see, it says this project contains expression errors, blah, 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 blah. And see these car scenes right here? I feel like they could have a lot more shake. The energy is high once you hit this point, but I feel like it'd have a lot more. We're going to click on it. We're going to go over to intense and put on the X and Y intense. We're going to double click and boom, that is on there instantly. Looks wild guys. Look how crazy that looks so much energy for everybody who just wants that crazy shake but it just makes it so much simpler and easier to do if you guys want to go grab shake sauce for yourself it'll be the first link in the description below if you guys enjoyed this video i recommend checking out this crazy polaroid transition effect i have right here and i also have this super creative 3d chrome text tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one